The Glorious Sons. That's Don't Live Fast on Toronto's new alternative, Indie 88. I have uh, the band here. I've got Brett, Adam, and Jay from the band uh, with me. And, you know, as that song was playing, uh, we were talking about how that is one of the four tunes to come from the Nashville sessions, correct? That's, no, not correct. <laughs> no? No, no, that's one song to come from 11 songs that we created in um, Kingston, which was our first try, I guess, at making an album, uh, like this album. Um, and then no other ones were released there. And then the second time we went in, we released two from there. That was Daylight and Young King. Young and King. We kind of secretly released two more on our app, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then the third time was Hold Steady out of a batch of like nine. So this is like now like 39 songs. And then the fourth time was a Nashville trip, which was... A miserable failure. Yes. So, so, so there we go. That's how I got it so wrong because it went so wrong. But now we got it right. Yeah. Yeah. We were mentioning, uh, you know, uh, from Norwalk to infections to many times in the bathroom. Yeah. And the result uh, ended up <laughs> being. the result is beautiful. <laughs> the result is glory. It's beautiful. Uh, I did want to talk about glory. We talked about, you know, the meaning of it. But also I want to talk about the cover for a second because I was wondering if there was someone named Gloria or if there was a maternal figure as the cover so no that um that was a the the week that i started writing speed of light which was um originally meant to be for myself uh but the week that i started writing speed of light in hamilton my friend teddy asked me to come help him put a beam up in his house and when i got there he pulled a picture out of the wall and he was like look what these people left behind wow. and i kind of like i looked at it and i was like teddy that's got to be my next album cover Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the story behind that. For those who may not have seen it yet, it is a woman. It's like dating back to, you, can you explain Must, it? I think probably the 50s, I would mm -hmm. assume. Um, yeah, and it's just like a woman holding her child, and the child's hand is out. Like, it's ready, just, it's in love with life and ready to take on anything that comes at it. And I don't know, I just love that imagery, uh, you know, in general, I just think that it's hopeful and beautiful. And, um, yeah, I just thought it was such a moving picture. It moved me, so I thought people would enjoy it. Beautiful. Brett, there's a video of you explaining your writing process. Yeah. And it sounds horrible. You see, you choose, <laughs> you choose to rip open a wound yeah. and really sit in the depths of that yeah. until you get the song out. Yeah. Which, by the way, I think, gentlemen, as, you know, bandmates, relative, you know, like, is, you know, is... What's it like to be part of that process from afar as well? He used to work like construction with my dad and I, and you'd always just like find him like kind of doing his job, but mostly writing a song. <laughs> so it's like, you know, like he's just really good at like focusing on being in that moment with the song. So it's like, and you can't really take him from it. Mm -hmm. you know, even the other day, he's like, what, what's the song you're working on? Uh, Scotty, um, right? And it, yeah, Scotty. You're like, oh, I just... You know, we were doing something, and then he's like, oh, I just figured out that line. Hmm. Like, how did you figure out that line? Well, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, he's hyper-focused. So, And sometimes you can tell it's like it makes him pissed off and grouchy <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, because he takes it that seriously. So, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't want my writing process to be that, but it seems to work for him. Mm -hmm. I don't really like... Um I don't have a lot of other things that I need to adhere to in my life, and that's kind of by design, and I really just enjoy making music and writing music. So, you know, other than my dog that I need to take care of, I can pretty much walk around talking to myself 24 hours a day if I want to, and it mm -hmm. won't affect anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you got you to do what you got to do to get it down. I just do hope that uh, somebody hugs you at the end because that <laughs> sounds pretty intense. No. <laughs> well, at least you got a dog, but, man... <laughs> I think actually it's more like therapy, if I'm honest. Um, sometimes it can make you feel pretty shitty, but I think a lot of the times, uh, you know, I, at least I have an outlet to to get through uh, the feelings that I'm feeling and the things that I'm thinking. I think a lot of people walk around um, trying to figure out a way to describe how they think and feel and wish that they could kind of have somebody to help them with that. And for whatever reason... I've just really enjoyed doing that since I was very young. Mm -hmm. Can we just talk about this huge tour? It starts tomorrow. You're playing gigs all the way until, you know, late February. There is no Toronto date on that list at this point. Yeah. So can we? Uh... 
I don't really know. We we have we There's, have like you three, just want to drive. We everywhere. have three plans, okay. so we can't really tell you the specifics of any of them. Yeah. You can but, probably guess if you really put your mind to it. I would think, um, no, and we're gonna be around Toronto. Okay. There's gonna be some stuff, but we are not allowed to say any of it right now. Okay. Apparently. Best not to. Okay. Best <laughs> left unsolved. Yeah. Okay, well, we're looking forward to whenever you're back to play. We'll uh, be back. Excellent. Uh, and we're about to get to Mercy Mercy, which I think is one of... So I, there's, I have a quick note about, like, there's a lot of personal perspective in the songs you've released so far. There's a few that are just narrative. And mm -hmm. I was wondering, as far as writing, what's easier for you? It's like, do you need the challenge of the narrative to switch the... flip the script a bit? Um, no, they're both just different... different... Uh, different... I don't want to say peas in a pod, but I guess I will. Different peas in a the pod. They, they're just two mm -hmm. different things that come across your mind. Sometimes a story suits a narrative that you have to put yourself into, and then sometimes you just need to throw up. Mm -hmm. Noted. Uh, let's get to Mercy Mercy. Uh, is this one, has this one been really fun to play? Yeah. In, yeah. 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 That, um, that opening riff, though, and ever, I can play it like a billion times over and over, and it always comes out fine if I'm just chilling, but anytime he starts playing the drums and I go to play it at the start of the song live, I fuck it up. So <laughs> I don't really know what's happening there. It's some kind of mental block. Noted. Yeah. Noted. Okay, well, let's get a little context before we get to it. Can you give us, uh, this seems like this was the a really a track that really kind of represents the process from my perspective. What, give us yours. Yeah, like for me, I think that it's just a really fun kind of way of saying like, I'm so sick and tired of my 20-year-old bulk shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I am so excited to be 30 years old. And it's weird the way that, like, you you wake up when you're 30 and somehow the little stuff that used to matter doesn't really affect you. I, I honestly feel like it's magic because I, I walk around a lot more relaxed at 30 years old than I even did at 29. And, you know, the, uh, it's m mainly about... In your 20s, waging that war path, always wanting to be right, always tr thinking that you need to be something that you're not. And then, you know, admitting that you're sick of it. Like, it gets so tire tiring trying to uh, trying to live up to uh, your own brain sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's about that. All right. Well, uh, gentlemen, thank you for taking the time. Thanks. Thank you. Congratulations in advance on the release. We're looking forward to those... Toronto dates whenever we find out. Wink, wink. Thank you. Well, yeah, we'll be back <laughs> soon. Here's the glorious suns. It's Mercy Mercy on Indy 88.